That's active biocontaminated sludge, enough goo to cause a flux at a molecular level. So I mentioned this in a few of my videos uh, quite a while back on Biomutant. I think mainly my tips and tricks one. The fact that when it comes to customizing the look of your character and when you get to changing your character's mutations, adding more value into certain stats and obviously morphing your character to look a certain way. I said about this and at the same time it doesn't really matter how your character looks. I mean if you make him look like a giant chicken breast because you've built into strength it's fine because later on in the game you can change the way he actually looks without affecting the stats and that's what I bring you today guys a guide on how you can change the way your character looks without affecting those stats. How's it going people my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more by all mutant be sure to subscribe. So changing the appearance of your character is something you can do well into the game and today I'll show you how. So to do this you need to have 100% resistance to biohazard. This is a must as the area you enter is a biohazard area and you will be spending some time here so you must have 100% resistance to it. Either spend those bio points or equip armor to assist you here. I will say though you get a minimum of 10 bio points once you get to this area. You also need a resistance to heat. Now I will state, I myself did not have a 100% resistance to heat, I had about 50 to 60%. But the area you travel through is massive, so if you ain't careful, you will die. What I did to get through this area, this heat area, with only 60% resistance to heat, was just prep myself with med packs. And as soon as that heat gets to 100% and your health starts to drop, when it gets to that certain point where you can apply, quickly tap up to apply uh, med packs, that's what I was doing. So I was just spamming that up button and getting my health back and this was saving me. And this is how I got through. But I mean it would probably be easier to get 200% resistance in heat. But I mean if you feel confident you can do it the way I did it, go for it. So the area in which you need to get to you can see on the map right here. You can also see that massive area of heat too. Once you get to the biohazard plant you need to follow the path I take downstairs. Here there will be a bus with a few smaller ads in which you need to take out. Again, buy your points for days. And once you have taken these out guys, there is a pool behind where the magic happens. And you can use this pool to morph your character to a different shape. It does cost one buy your point, but I believe you can use it an unlimited amount of times. So yes, one buy your point to change the way your character looks isn't too bad considering the amount you would have got from killing those enemies. So yes guys, if this is something you was wondering about and wanted to do, I hope this video helps you out. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But well, guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.